you can't beat me. I sit here today as a sincere man who tells the truth and hides nothing behind no curtains. I'm beating you, one million percent. I've not got no doubt. Even after all the time off, you cannot beat me. When you look at me, I'm not lying. I'm not just doing it for the cameras or whatever. I know deep in my heart you can't beat me. I know no one can. I will retire unbeaten heavyweight champion of the world, like Rocky Marciano, the second man to do it in history. You, you, you know, you need to concentrate, you need to focus on training, not flipping, wasting time and flying. If, if things is done and I'm happy and, and it's worth it, then I'll do it. I'm not doing anything if, it, if it's not worth it. You feel me? Simple as that. Point taken. A big fight Saturday night for Tyson Fury's WBC title. Fury will be defending this title against Dillian White, who's deserved a title shot for years, and he's finally get one. And his predictions all over the place. Derek Chisora is picking Dillian White over Tyson Fury. Chisora's been in the ring with both of them. He's picking Dillian White by knockout. Tim Bradley is picking Tyson Fury by knockout. And I'm picking Tyson Fury by decision. I think the old Tyson Fury will come out. I don't think it'll be the same Tyson Fury that fought Wilder. I think he'll box himself to a decision. But we shall see. But the energy is different when you see the Tyson Fury build up like we saw in other fights. And I think that was part of Dillian White's strategy. Did not want to get in a mental warfare with Tyson Fury because he feeds off that. Plus, he's not getting a pay-per-view percentage. But at the end of the day, I will be pulling for Dillian White. I just don't think he's going to win. I think Tyson Fury will win a hard-fought decision, retain his WBC title, and wait for the winner of Uzik and Joshua in July. I am hope I'm wrong on this one. It does seem like White has Fury's full attention. Once again, Canelo Alvarez is saying Benavidez should fight Jamal Charlo, especially after the altercation they had Saturday. He said they should get in the ring and settle their differences. That's a good idea. And a reward for that is you'll probably fight the winner of that fight. But we all know Jamal Charlo does not want that smoke. During the altercation, he hid behind two security guards talking greasy. We all remember a while back, Jamal Charlo called out David Benavides. And when he accepted the challenge, Jamal Charlo started making all kinds of excuses. You know, like, I'm not big enough for 168. I don't fight anybody under 25. David Benavides needs a COVID shot. We went from Benavides, Canelo, Munguia. Now we have Selecki. Lucky us. Both these guys dislike each other, but they don't dislike each other enough to get in the ring. Well, Benavides is willing to get in the ring. Jamal Charlo is not. Charlo is trying to preserve himself for the Canelo sweepstakes. And I don't think he's confident in his ability to beat a Benavides or an Andre. So he just likes Benavides but not enough to do anything about it. So I think he's a wait around for everybody to lose, fight the Selecki's in the world, and try to remain undefeated, hoping the Canelo lottery will come his way in the future. Until then, I expect Wolf Ticket Charlo to keep capping. Let me know what you think about the fight. Who you got winning the Dillian White Tyson Fury fight? Leave your comments below. JBZ, I'm gone.